Hey guys, it's Di, and I'm going to be sharing a few different hauls today. They're all going to be in separate videos based on their category, and this video is going to be about ideas on things to send to troops that are working overseas in a troop care package and that sort of thing. So basically, I went to Target today, and I got a number of items to put in hopefully all one large priority mailbox to send overseas to four different guys or gals, I suppose, that are uh, working overseas and are in theater, basically, um, you know, in a country over there and I believe it means they're actively um, you know on duty or not necessarily at war but they are actively overseas somewhere so um, I'm not going to be sharing any specific addresses I may try to do some googling and share different places down below the um, box that we're sending is just part of a um, private thing that we are um, you know we're not sending it to four people that we know but basically just four different guys that are on location over there. But I know that if you Google um, care packages for troops or Christmas cards for troops, there's a lot of different organizations, which I will try to link down below, where you can just send like a general Christmas card and that sort of thing. Because this time of year, I'm sure they really appreciate kind of being thought of and all of that. So I'm gonna show you the items that I purchased for the care package for four troops, we'll say troops instead of guys. And, um, and then of course I'll be putting in Christmas cards and that sort of thing with it as well. So these are the items that I purchased at Target today. It was about $80 worth of stuff. So for four guys, that's actually about $20 per person. So that's not too bad. And I tried purchasing four of a number of different things. And then some of the things like National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, I did buy one of. Now these are guys that are actively in a military location. Um, I'm, I'm not necessarily at war. They might be at war. Um, but they do have access to DVD players and things like that. And so one of the things on the list um, that the person that kind of was rounding all the things up said it was reading material, activity things, because they do have downtime at certain times of the day. And then also DVDs was something that we were welcome to send. So we thought that we'd send National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation just because it'd be kind of a cheery, funny video that hopefully they would enjoy. So first of all, the things that I bought four of, I bought four of these Market Pantry Beef Jerky. Um, um, tomorrow is December 3rd and I am mailing this tomorrow because it does take a little while for it to get overseas so basically the cutoff date to mail is tomorrow to get it there by the 25th to the specific location that I'm mailing it to um, but for some locations um, that are more domestic and that sort of thing I'm sure you can mail Christmas cards and things like that in the next week or two and still make it um, to the location. I bought four of these little travel size daily moisturizing creams, this little lotions because I figured it'd be something good to have and also chapsticks. So Mio Energy, my husband really likes these so we thought that they might enjoy adding those to water. Um, Jolly Ranchers, this was my husband's idea. He thought that that would be really good. And then also all-purpose towelettes. They're just basically like baby wipes but you could use them for anything. You can use them for wiping your face or anything like that. I did buy a package of these little Christmas Kleenexes. They're just like a little travel pack type of thing. And I'm going to be separating these out and giving each guy a little travel pack of Kleenex. Then also I got these little reindeer ship cookies. I'll be including one of those in each package as well. And then I also picked up, now chocolate's a little bit dicey. So the only reason that I did pick up these is because they're individually wrapped. They were in a plastic wrap um, and already kind of prepackaged. So if they meld or whatever happens to them, it's not going to get on the rest of the items in the bag. But So I did take a chance getting these. Um, but these are a white chocolate peppermint bark. I thought that those would be kind of nice and festive to put in there. And then I also got four activity books. Now I did get four different ones because my idea here was is if they used a pencil, maybe they could trade them around if they you know got bored or whatever or they can just use the one that they choose um, but I did get four different ones there's two Sudoku ones and then kind of a word search and then a word crossword puzzle and then over here I got two boxes of these Christmas cookies I'm going to be dividing these up and making one little package basically one row for each guy or gal, sorry, I keep saying guys. I just use guys as kind of like an interchangeable word, as you guys know. And um, how they said to package these was actually to wrap them in paper towel and then put them inside of a Ziploc. And then baked goods would pretty much arrive nicely that way. So that is 
pretty much the amount of stuff that I got for around $80. And I think that this will be kind of a nice care package for the four people that it will be going to. I think there is a kind of a variety of items and hopefully some items that everyone can get some enjoyment out of. So hopefully this has also given you some ideas. Let me know down below if you have any questions. And like I said, I'll try to put links in the descriptions. I know for sure that there's definitely organizations where you can like send a Christmas card to a troop and that sort of thing. So I'll try to find some of those links and link them down below because this particular uh, organization that we went through is not a public thing. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day.